Hi guys, Squirrel here, and we're going to continue where we left off, and if you remember the previous episode, we just dropped off this bad boy, and we were about to go and pick up that bad boy over there, the huge cat bulldozer. Now, I did say I was going to go and take some rest and then pick it up, however, when I tried that, I went over and got some rest. I came back for this job and it had gone, bizarrely enough, because it was it said it expires in 13 hours and a rest is only, what, 8 hours? So the game's trolling, obviously. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to take this and we're going to have to rest on the way. It's Linz to Duisburg, I assume that's how you say it in Germany. This is fragile cargo, heavy or oversized. I'm not sure why that's fragile, if I'm honest. It doesn't really look fragile. It's a bulldozer, for God's sake. How fra how unfragile can this thing get? Expensive, yes. Heavy, yes. Important, yes. Fragile, nah. This is the shortest trip to a trailer I've ever had to do. Because I know for a fact it's just back here. <laughs> so we're just going to reverse back. Preferably without reversing into anything. I can see it now, in the mirror. Slow down and touch. There we go. Look, they've taken that thing already. The last thing we dropped off. I still have no idea what it was. It looked like a mechanism off an engine, I think. Parts for a pump, maybe. Let's grab all of that. There we go. Right, now before we set off, next rest stop in three and a half hours. Okay. We've got the beacons on, of course. Let's have a quick look at this. Wow, holy cow, that thing's big. It's good, isn't it? Proper stuff going on here. I didn't know there was a bridge up there. I went to uh, Roklaw, which I think is in, is that in Poland? And quite a nice looking town, actually. It's quite big to drive around. I mean, Linz is obviously reasonably big, but it's, it's quite industrial. Roklaw had lots of bridges. Way sorry mate, that was my bad. Although if you're being really nice, you'd let me out. But you're not really nice, because you're just AI. And you program to do things. Because that's what AI does. Uh, so Roklaw, I mean this is like I say, it is very industrial. So it's not exactly pretty. I'm going to go down the inside I think. Whereas Roklaw is actually a very nice little town. Now it's 7am so obviously the daylight's coming. But unfortunately I'm going to have to rest as well. There is a rest stop over there. But I, I think I'd prefer to take... A motorway rest stop it's a lot less faff with such a massive trailer so I'm gonna check the map in a minute and see what the route looks like and a motorway rest stop is a hell of a lot easier because it's just you know it's just a slip road I may have to drop do the trick where I showed you before where I drop the trailer and then put the actual truck into the parking bay to rest and you see outside look it's starting to go pink how <laughs> cool is the light on this game? The sunrise is coming. I'll be able to turn my main beams off shortly, I think. In fact, I'd probably do it now. Get the right button anyway. Oh my god, what a shitty place for a sign. I think I managed to miss the wall anyway. Oh shit. He says, hitting the wall. I don't want to damage this cat digger. It's a proper digger. Quite proud to be pulling this actually. I'm not sure what engine size the Scania's go up to in this game. I've currently got a 500 brake. But uh, I'm hoping when I get to a higher level, I'm hoping there's going to be something bigger. I went over, I discovered a uh, Volvo dealer. And the Volvo engines, I don't know why, but I could trade this in for about two grand and get a 700 brake Volvo and I 
it doesn't make any sense in my mind. Why can I... I say that. Why can I get a 700 brake Volvo for the same amount of money as a 500 brake Scania? Why don't... you know, why can't I get a 700 brake engine on this thing? I assume... But I have no idea if there's any truckers out there who actually know the answer to this one. I assume that the Volvo engines um, come in more powerful. Bloody hell! Shit! Oh my god! My tra <laughs> Oh my god! I nearly lost it. Did you see that slide? I bet you could feel that then. I was steering right, and the bloody thing wasn't steering. Shit! I nearly tipped over the whole thing. I got to be more careful. This is proper heavy. Um, as I was saying, I assume that the the Volvo engines just are 800 brake at the current range and the Scania's are 500. Maybe it's a torque thing. Maybe the, the Scania has more torque and can cope with 500 brake. I mean, it doesn't seem to affect my ability to pull heavy loads, but obviously an extra 200, 200 horses under the bonnet or under the hood, is that, no, is that the fender or the hood? I can't remember in America. Fender? I don't know, I get mixed up. We call it a bonnet in the UK. That's where the engine is. You call it a hood, don't you? That's right. The fender is the equivalent to our boot, I think. So a bonnet is a hood. I hope I've got that right. Um, I hope, you know, the 500 brake that's in this Scanny doesn't seem to have any problem pulling, but an extra 200 horses would obviously mean that I could accelerate more quickly. Have I got anything on my right? I knew there was a bloody car. Bugger off, mate. Yeah, it's getting quite nice now, this. Look at that. You can really see. Hang on, we're coming up to a rest stop. We're coming up to a rest stop. And this thing doesn't want to turn. Shit, the weight going on here. My god. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map. I think it might rest anyway, to be honest. Yeah, there's a rest up here, there's... Oh, there's one here. Then there's one here as well. Uh, and then we've got quite a journey going on. I think... We Let's have a look at what F6 says. Two hours and twenty minutes. Mm. 11 hours to the journey. I think I will just pull over and get it done. I'm going to have to do it anyway. Ooh, I've never been to one of these. I usually go to fuel stations and stuff. Uh, have I just gone the wrong way? I'm not entirely sure. There's the parking. I'm not seeing... <laughs> I think it might be because of the snow. Here we go. But I'm not seeing the road markings very easily for where I park. Can I actually fit into here? You, d you guys don't mind if I just squeeze in, do you? Oh, nice. I can actually park. It's 8am. It's going to move it to the afternoon, I think. Oh, God. 5.30 and Tina just brought in some money, I noticed. Look at this. <laughs> that is funny. That's all these trucks lined up. What have we got here? We've got... What is that? Is that obviously one of the unbranded ones? That's not a real logo. Scania and two Renaults in the line. Okay, let's get this show on the road. We've got some miles to do here. 445 of them to be exact. Oh, that sun looks nice. And the sky looks nice too. Um, I don't... Is he going to let me out? I bet he's not. Is he? I'm going to pull out anyway. Screw you. Just change lane, dude. How hard is it to program that? This lane is blocked. I have another one to my left. I shall move over into it. But no, they always do the same thing. They just slow down. Oh, that sun is proper nice. Um, as I was saying, the Winter Mod Pack, Winter Mod Pack 3, uh, has some pretty nice floor textures, but in the game, I think, you know, if it goes to rain, I think it will actually still just rain. 
There is no. I've never seen snow in this game yet. I have seen a mod that replaces the sounds for rain, so that you get lovely rain and thunder and all that kind of thing. Um, so I may try that out in future videos. Come on, why are we going 40 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour down round there? It doesn't look that dangerous. Okay, here's a, a blatant opportunity, I feel, for a thumbnail. I do have to get thumbnails. Look at the snow tearing up there. That looks cool. Yeah, I need I need screenshots for thumbnails in my videos. Uh, so I generally... Oh, look at him changing lanes, going for an overtake. That's proper massive. Oh, this is going to make a great thumbnail. Look at that. How dare you overtake while I'm doing a thumbnail? <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. I am think I'm pissing all the traffic off. Go for an outside shot. That is nice. I do like that. The snow on the trees on the left looks really good, doesn't it? Although, look at the join in the road here. The textures don't line up. So the the road markings change and the and the tire tire tracks don't exactly line up. But otherwise, that is some proper nice scenery going on. I wish it moved a lot more. I wish the cranes, you know. If that was covered in ice, if that was frozen, how epic would that look? That sun is proper nice though. A sun and a moon all in the sky. I'm quite often impressed by some of the little details they put into the graphics in these games. The lighting effects in games has come on leaps and bounds recently. You know, they got all these kind of point light sources, which just like all all of the lights in the front of this truck are all little point light sources, and you can fit, see them focusing on the floor. They're just amazing. The graphics cards are just amazing now. But as I've said before, it would be so nice to have breathe more life into this game. If they ever make a Euro Truck Three, or you know, if they do the North American one, which would be super nice. I I really want them to put some effort into the uh, the AI. And, I mean, if there's cars on the road here with somebody broken down, you know, and the police or the recovery services were attending, you could just see people. But I don't mean like, you know, I'd rather them not do it at all if it's going to be stupid stick men. I mean, properly animated kind of people walking around. And yes, I know that would mean that people would start driving their trucks into them and God knows what else. <laughs> but it would still help. It's going dark. It's amazing. I can't seem to help but drive in the dark in this game. I actually wanted to get a daytime video for you guys, but <sighs> this eye. What I should have well, what I could have done was just had a rest, uh, and then had another rest, and then try and find a job. But you know, when we arrived at um, the last destination, and there was that cat bulldozer, this one on the back here, I couldn't resist it, I had to take it which has unfortunately dropped us right into the... actually it has gone dark early, 7pm, is that normal? Look at the crane through the moon <laughs> It's time to go past these mofos This is going to be a long journey guys and I may have to cut parts of the video out otherwise it's going to be huge Although there are those of you and I don't know how many, but there are, I think there are quite a few of you who would be more than happy if I posted a video that was like over an hour. But when I post long videos, I get a mix of comments. I get actually, actually get this. It doesn't matter what I post. I get a mix of comments. Okay, if I post a ten-minute video, I'll get comments not long enough. Make them longer. If I post a twenty-minute video, people say. Oh, I wish it was a bit longer. I wish it was like half an hour. Or if this was an hour, I'd watch it. And if I post a 40-minute video, people go, 40 minutes? Are you kidding me? I can't watch all that. I've got school to go to. <laughs> and I've learned this. And, and and again, with the game type, yeah? So if I post a Eurotruck video, I'll get a comment, make more DayZ. So I'll put a DayZ video up. Make some Wasteland. So I'll put a Wasteland up. 
Make some War Thunder. And honest to God, this is this is what I get. And I've honestly learned through putting YouTube videos up that you cannot please everyone. And that's the truth. You really can't. So what I did... Oh, God. Oh, shit. I'm going too fast. Straighten her up, boy. Bloody hell. That started to go then. What I've learned is... Um, I put up a variety. So I try and keep everybody happy. And I mix the length of the videos up. Like the squad snippets are only 10 minutes long. But if I put a wasteland up, I'll try and keep it around 20. Because 20 is a good fit. Most people can sit down and watch a 15 or 20 minute video. But half an hour is... That's getting on for a TV episode length. So that's, you know... You're pushing the envelope there. Well, these Euro trucks are like 40 minute plus. And... All I can do to stop that, because that's, you know, that is literally how long they take to make, because the journey is a fixed length. So my only option to make them smaller is to cut stuff out. So it's feedback time, ladies and gentlemen, because I do value your feedback. Where's that car gone? Um, feedback time. You can either leave a comment on the video, or more preferably, go to my Facebook page and leave a comment there, or, le or send me a message on Facebook because I guaranteed to get it. The problem with comments is obviously, you know, there's hundreds of comments and I do try my best to read them all, but you, you, a comment can get lost quite easily, but a Facebook message or a comment, I don't miss that because Facebook will just keep it and kind of mark it as unread, a bit like a mailbox thing. And once I read it, it's marked as read. So it's much better if you want to get a message to me to do it on my Facebook page, which of course you'll have to go and like in order to leave a message there. But what I want to know is this, and this is not about old games, this is just about Euro Truck. What length videos do you prefer? Would you prefer it, if I did a really long journey, like if I did to, uh, Austria to Scotland, yeah? Would you prefer me to cut, you know, do a live commentary on it like I'm doing now, but then cut it back, cut out stuff in it? stuff where not a lot happens or my commentary is getting really boring <laughs> would you prefer if I cut that out and bring it down to whatever length you prefer like say let's say half an hour would you prefer I did that or would you prefer shit I'll fuck this up oh god this thing slides I don't know if I did any damage to the truck or not oh my god I need to get on the middle lane and stop being a knobhead. What am I doing in the fast lane anyway? Um, would you prefer it if I just made the whole thing and uploaded it as it is? So if that's a 35 minute video, it's a 35 minute video. If that's an hour and five minute video, upload it as that. Because that is a that's a big old video, you know. An hour. Not a lot of people would sit and watch an hour, would they? I know people have watched my 40 minute stuff, no problem, but an hour? So I'm asking for your feedback, I'm asking for your guidance, because you are my subs, and I love you all dearly, and I want to know what content you prefer me to make, like how to make it, so that it fits you. Now obviously, I'm going to go with the majority, so if more people say half an hour than say 45 minutes, then or say an hour, then I'm going to go with half an hour. Because I can't please everyone, as I've said before, so I try and please the masses, yeah? So what? let me know. Send me a Facebook message, or leave me a comment. I don't know if you noticed or not, but um, the trailers have got more realistic names on them now, so not only have we got Cat, but we've got SO and Total and Aldi and stuff, and DHL is quite common. Again, that's a mod. The reason they don't put them in the original game is because they're not licensed to use that company's name. Indeed, when the game came out, they didn't um, have the realistic truck names either. Well, not all of them anyway, but they've now licensed six, I think, out of seven. So you've got your Scania. Your Mercedes-Benz was an interesting one. I think they, they took a while before Mercedes gave them a license to do it. A license to use their name and logo in the game. I don't know why any truck manufacturer would would say no to them using their name and logo in this game because for the love of god it's just free advertising. But having said that, 
they may not have been happy because the physics of the trucks was not um, different. They were all using a basic Scania engine model. So, you know, Mercedes might have said, no, no, you know, unless you're going to implement the physics properly of our engines, then we're not going to let you license it. Maybe. But then they saw the success of the game and thought, well, actually, screw it, let's just do it anyway. Because we want our name in there. I have another another topic to raise, okay? So remember I was talking about mods and how I've been looking at mods. And remember how there is uh, an allegedly allegedly an American truck version of this thing gonna come out or in development because we know they've registered the domain name, yeah? And they wouldn't register the domain name unless they had some sort of intention to make a game. Which may be based on how successful this one is because let's face it, if they don't get enough sales they're not gonna make another one, are they? But, one of the mods that you can get is the American truck, the Petabilt, which is the, you know, the infamous, the de facto, the, the truck that you drive in America. The 18-wheel rigs will drive the giant Petabilt, you know, with the kind of really long front engine bonnet or hood, if you're American. No, yeah, I'm not trying to offend. That's just what I call it native tongue and there is a mod that will let you drive that I think it swaps out an, uh, I think it swaps out an Iveco truck and put and drops that in and inside oh god this is slippy inside the cockpit it looks kind of you know like it was out the 60s or something proper hilarious and I'm really tempted to do a video of that so, is that something you guys would want to see? Because I have had comments saying, you know, do a Petabilt one, do a Petabilt one. And I've no idea if it's going to break the game. <laughs> I've no idea if it's going to be, the physics are going to be different. But it looks like a whole lot of fun. But I would like nothing better, as I've said this before in a previous video, than if they, you know, driving across North America is kind of one of those things in the back of my mind you know a hundred things to do before you die it's one of those I'd like to drive coast to coast at some point in my life I'm not sure what in um, because you know I do love motorbikes and I would be possibly tempted to do it in a motorbike rather than a car because it would feel more realistic but then having driven you may not know this about me but I, I have driven a motorbike all around the coast of Britain uh, all three three and a half thousand miles I think it was it was a bloody long way and on the way I picked up Land's End to John O'Groats uh, ticket and got that signed and became a member of the Land's End to John O'Groats club and it was bloody interesting really interesting going around the entire coast of Britain but it was also um, tiring as you might imagine because we did it in something like 10 days. Uh, we're doing over 300 to 400 miles per day, you know, and that's a lot on a motorbike because it's not motorway driving. And when time you get to the coast of Scotland, you can imagine it's nothing like a motorway. It's proper rugged coastline and uh, some pretty tight roads, some pretty difficult terrain, hilly terrain in all kinds of weather. There were days when I got piss wet through, I mean properly properly soaked and cold um, but I have amazing memories of doing it with about 20 other guys and it was awesome quite frankly but you will know if you've ever done it if you've ever ridden three to 400 miles on a motorbike you will know what a pain in the ass it is, quite literally your bottom goes numb and it's quite painful because the saddle is comfortable but it ain't that comfortable and your hands can get cold and wet your feet and your legs which you've got to stretch because you're in a sat down position for hundreds of miles I can't imagine what that would be like going across America coast to coast it could be quite painful and you know nobody's getting any younger and by the time I get around to doing it you know maybe I'll be I don't know 
who knows what age I could do it. So maybe I'd want to do it in a, uh, a car or something. Or maybe in a Winnebago. Yeah, that might be fun. Might annoy the crap out of me, but it could be fun. And you're just getting the back and sleep as well, so... Maybe I just hire a Winnebago for a month and go coast to coast. Has any of you ever done that, by the way? Have you ever ridden coast to coast in North America? And how far is it, and how long does it take? And also, if you were going to do it, what route would you take? I mean, there's like Route 66, isn't there, which kind of goes across quite a bit, but... You know, there's parts of that, it's just like a bloody runway. That's not particularly exciting. But then if you go for a more twisty road, it's going to take you a lot longer, but you're going to, you know, pick up more scenery. Or maybe you just go coast to coast, but take a more kind of meandering route, you know, where you pick up, you know, multiple states by going north a bit, then northwest a bit, then south, and kind of zigzagging your way across. I don't know. Anyway, so the Peterbilt, obviously, is this massive truck. If you've ever seen the Steven Spielberg film from the 70s, uh, what's it, is that called... Oh, what's the name of that film? Is it called... Oh, shit! I just got a speeding fine! Bitch! Bitch, I can't see the signs, man! That's just not fair. I'm trying to do a commentary here. You shouldn't bill me for doing commentaries. Cut me some slack, man. Um, Spielberg film with a truck. God, this is slippy as hell. Shit, I am going to lose it here. Was it called Driver or something? I don't think it was called Driver. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up now. I want to finish this. Uh, essentially, there's a guy driving... He's trying to drive from his house to go to a meeting. It's one of Spielberg's early films. And he's got to get to this important meeting on time. The business meeting. And it's a really hot day. It's like one of the hottest days on record. And he's got his car and he's going across this kind of deserty terrain and there's this truck this big 18 wheel black horrible diesel grunting truck and he has a bit of a run in with the guy he never sees the guy's face but he has a bit of a run in with him and ends up overtaking him and so on and this guy in the truck starts to stalk him so when he pulls over for fuel the truck pulls over for fuel and sits nearby and watches him but his car can't go as fast as this truck so this truck catches him up then the truck overtakes him then then the car tries to overtake the truck but the truck driver goes really slowly but when the car tries to overtake he tries to uh, block him as you've seen me do with the AI and eventually he gets past him but then the truck turns really nasty and it ends oh duel that's what it's called it's called duel isn't it I was about to say in my head they end up in a bit of a duel it's actually called duel the film as in D-U-E-L, Duel. And it's a great Spielberg film. If you've never seen it, go and watch it. It's proper scary, actually. And um, anyway, that's a, that's a Peterbilt-style truck, isn't it? So I hope I'm right in saying that. I'm pretty certain it was, but I could be totally wrong now. I'm about to get corrected. That's like, I'll tell you, that's another thing when you make videos. If you say something wrong, <laughs> something incorrect... Oh my god, you get a storm of comments correcting you. Bloody hell. Which I don't mind. I'm all for learning, but sometimes the uh, the tone of people... You know, they can't just tell you something. They can't just say, you're not correct there, you know, it's actually this. Which is cool. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you for letting me know. It's not like that. It's like, oh my god, squirrel, you fucking noob. <laughs> it's like, what? Seriously, man. If you stood in front of me, would you talk to me like that? I don't think you would. And I think the internet, people on the internet need to calm down and they need to imagine that they're actually talking to a person and think to themselves, would I actually say it like that if I was stood in front of this person? Nine times out of ten, the answer is no, not really. You wouldn't do that. Because, you know, most people have some sense of manners. Wow. Did you see that car? He was in, the, he was in this lane, and then he indicated left and then went right. And I was about to say... That's some shitty AI programming, but it's not, is it? Because I've actually seen people do that. So that was actually some spot-on AI programming. We are not far. 
uh, 60 miles away. Holy shit, I hadn't realised just how long I've been talking for. That's amazing, because we're not far away. An hour and a half in-game, 55 miles, and we're churning through the miles. I think I'm in the wrong lane. Keeps doing this to me. I've not managed to bin the car, the truck yet. But I tell you, I've come close. You might want to try this winter pack, because I'm telling you, it is slippy. Not stupidly icy slippy, but enough so that if you take a bend with too much speed, you're going to lose it. And I nearly have lost it a couple of times. Whoa, slow down there, boy. Let's not wreck it 40 miles from the end. Slow down, slow down, slow down. That's better. Yeah, this is... It, it's, um... Different and interesting. Normally you can just kind of bang it around those... Those bends, but... Not with this mod pack, you can't. It's been fun dragging this... This cat uh, bulldozer. I'm just sorry it's been through the night again, guys, but I... Like I say, I promised to make the next video on the day. I mean, it's fun driving at night, but it's a lot nicer in the day. There's a lot more scenery. I'm just wondering what I should do next, uh, video-wise. Um, because I want to get something scenic, I think. I don't know if there are any scenic towns I could go through. I need to check them out. Right, bro? Coming through. You might have your cars, but I've got... I wonder how much... Um, a cat... A cat bulldozer, like on the back of here. I wonder how much that costs in real life. I bet it's a stupid amount of money. Like in the millions. And if you were transporting one like this on the back of a, um, a truck, imagine what your insurance premium's like. Because let's face it, it's not that hard to bin the bloody thing. I think I can move over. Yeah. Okay, so we're 26 miles away. Nothing majorly difficult on the way, actually. Um, but, you know, if you go through France, you tend to get a lot of toll roads, so that can make it fun. But the bends have been okay to me. I've not managed to beach it on any barriers. Why are you going so slow, dude? You haven't even got a trailer. Oh, it's a Renault. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've just got a thing against Renaults. <laughs> I'm going slow down because this is one of those bends where it'll just slide to hell. And I don't want that. I'm just going to take the middle of the road up. I don't care. Right turn coming up. Actually, you know what? I've just noticed how low on fuel I am, and it's minus three outside. So, when I've dropped this trailer off, I am definitely going to have to find some fuel. Osnabrück, to the right. Why is Duisburg straight on? I thought that's where we were going. Why are we going this way? Oh, I see. Duisburg's the town, and this is outside of the town. Yeah, it's going to be a quarry again, isn't it? With a, uh, you know, a giant bulldozer. It's definitely going to be a quarry. That makes sense. So after this, I'm going to have to head over to Duisburg and get some fuel and some rest. That should make it early morning, which means I can pick up a daytime job. And it's all good. Just look good at night though, doesn't it? Just checking there's nothing coming. Nope. Oh, a car. 1.34 in the morning, game time. We're still four miles away, so 
Here's a fuel station. I could get some fuel, couldn't I? I could get some fuel here, actually. It's only going to be there in eight hours. Oh, I could just get the fuel on the way back. What the hell? Yeah, let's just drop this off, get the fuel on the way out. There's no point trying to go in there with this thing. Well, it could be fun. There we go. Duisburg discovered. Fuel station nearby. Good to know. Because mostly, in this game, if you've noticed, in order to fuel up, you have to go on the motorway. They don't have fuel stations in towns, which I always thought was really weird. I'm guessing that's a game design decision. Bit of a weird one, though. Let's get this thing zoomed in. Presumably there's going to be some recruitment agencies to uh, discover in this town. Shout, dude. There we go. Safe and sound. Hello, what's on... What's that? A couple of a couple of diggers. Another couple of diggers. I quite fancy transporting something um time delivery. Fragile long distance time delivery, you know? That'd be quite cool. Now then. This should be fun. Yet again I can't see where I'm going. I don't actually know if I'm about to hit anything, to be honest. Uh, yes, I am. And I've missed quite a bit. Straighten her up a bit. Yeah, I know that. You don't need to tell me ten times to press enter. I know this. It's not far off at the moment. God, it's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> it really is. That mirror is a wide, a wide angle mirror as well. Is that going to do it? No, but it's going to let me reverse in straight now, isn't it? I've got it lined up now, more or less. Let's have a look where we are. Yep, that's more or less a straight line. Slow down, slow down, steady as she goes. Is that going to be in the box, do you think? It's going to be bloody close. There we go. Woo! 323 litres of fuel consumed. Is that going to level me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. 40 grand payout, 1100 XP. We're gonna max out eco driving, do we think? Fragile. We've gotta max out eco, really. I'd like to work on these. Let me take different kinds of cargo, wouldn't it? But this. This just saves money. So I am gonna to stick to my guns and uh, max that up. Let's turn my beacons off. Let's have a look at this town, actually. Okay. Well, I think that video is long enough as it is. So we should probably leave it there.
before we go, let's have a quick look at the job market. We're up in Duisburg. Oh God. <laughs> look at the size of that. Oh my life. Well, I could say that. There's also one of these. Oh, that's a long one, isn't it? Bloody hell. But I don't know. I'm tempted to... If you look at the map... Where the hell am I? There I am. Look at the map. There's Dusseldorf here. I'm tempted to take a, a trip to Dusseldorf and just discover that. And Dortmund's not far away, so... I may pick those two up and then have a look at what jobs are available. But I promise you... The next journey will be in the daytime. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, do send me some messages, like I said, and leave me some comments. Until next time, take care, guys. Happy trucking! <laughs>